So with the new wave of interest when it comes to analog horror, there's bound to be thousands of them that I really haven't watched or really cared much about. So I came up with the idea of having an analog horror slash digital horror bingo card. This is sort of made half-jokingly to poke fun of the analog horror tropes that are so common in every single analog horror, or really any horror series in general, but also as a sort of homage to the things that we watch and the medium that we really love. My audience and I play analog horror bingo pretty much every other week, so if you ever want to check around and play alongside with us, then check me out in twitch.tv forward slash goose underscore booze, although not right now because I'm probably not going to be streaming for about a week and a half, so I gotta go to a wedding, so, you know. Regardless, follow me anyway, so that way you will be notified of when I'll be back and streaming with you guys. I plan on doing more streams next year, so hopefully you guys will enjoy those. But for now, enjoy this little highlight, edited by White Goose Boost, aka Commander Grey. Happy Halloween, everyone. Hope you enjoy the video. How would you guys like to do some bingo? Let's do some bingo. Where's everyone going? Bing, bing. All right, bingo, 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 bingo. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got over there? Okay, cop assaulted by giant lamprey. By lamprey? What's a lamprey again? <laughs> no! No, watch out, officer, watch out! Get down! Why is he running away? You have a car. What the fuck was that? Unexplained glitches? Unexplained glitches, that's the first one, obviously. Of course the pig would fucking shoot the thing. Not to get political, yeah. Incorrect use of VHS filter seems fine. It actually looks very, very accurate. Doppelganger trope. White text on black background. That, I mean, if you guys want to be super, super anal about it, there is in fact white text on black background. So, what do we say, chat? Gonna fill that in? Lampreys are technically parasites. Um, <clears throat> parasites? Uh, you know what? Yeah, all right. I'll say parasites. Fuck it. Parasites. What else we got? Uh, I am going to say I'm going to be super fucking stupid and I'm going to say white text on black background. So that's one thing. All right. I think that's it. Let's continue. All right. Next. What we got? Tuesday tapes and list. Okay. Here's one. Guys, I'm one. One is young. One is young. Why does that sound familiar? I am one. One is young. Why does that sound familiar? Why am I chanting that? 9-11. 9-11. All right, tapes incident. Uh, okay, tapes. Yeah, okay. Immediately, we already got tapes in the title, so that counts. The world is moving on. The wars of tomorrow will and Oh yeah, America! We wage not with artillery, but with pure information. Yeah! <laughs> You're about to be assimilated to the most clandestine- What? Exclusive knowledge base on the planet. What you have gleaned so thus far is only the beginning. Tomorrow is our profession. Distorted music? Ah! Uh, I mean, I don't even know where this is fucking going. Like, what the fuck is this? Distorted music, yeah, we could do that. Distorted music, let's go. Local 58 ripoff? I, I would say it is. It, it is, it's giving Local 58, so I'll, I'll say it is, in fact, that. Alright, um, let's continue. God, I'm so curious about this fucking uh, Max and Ruby Lost episode shit. No, you know what? Fuck it. I'm clicking on it. Max and Ruby. TV static? No, uh, no. Um, actually. Ah, I'll give it to you. Fine, fine. I'll give it to you. TV static. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't think we got that. Oh, we got that. There, right there. Didn't the show come out way after VHS? Uh, I mean, it's around the same time. People would still be using VHS even at this point. It's a 2000 show. Not everyone converted to, like, DVD. 2002? I thought it came out, like, 2005. Really? 2002. Scary Abnormal Face? No, but if anybody has uh, the eyes category, I would say yes to that. Oh, 
you're getting heavy, Max. <laughs> you're so fat, Max. I'm worried about you, fatty. I love you. How do you unlock the neutral ending? What is this? Oh, this is cursed. Is this is this their mom and dad? It's a shame. Oh boy, TTS! TTS, yes, let's go. TTS, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. I ain't got that shit. <laughs> loud noises. Loud noises, loud noises. I ain't got that shit. You have loud sounds? I do? Oh, there it is, shit, I'm stupid. Why didn't their parents just not die? I don't even know why they died. Urgh, burn in hell! That sounds like Dizzy. <laughs> Jump scare. Alright, put that down if you got it. We got a lot so far. But would this count as an abnormal face? Oh, you're right. Actually, yes. This is an abnormal face. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Scary abnormal face can now be marked off. Go ahead. All right, dead kids. Yeah, we got dead kids. Let's go, dead kids. Trauma core thriller. Trauma core thriller. Woo! All right, so, all right, that was really fun. That was a fun one. The Max and Ruby ones are really fucking stupid. Bingo, oh, we got a bingo? Genuinely? Oh shit, look at that. Bingo goes to card number three. So anybody who's part of team three, congrats, you have a bingo. Where's everyone going? Bing, bing. Round two, round two, let's fucking go. Who's gonna win this time? I got card number five, who's joining me? Card number five, let's go, let's go. This one is called Curse Thomas, real TV commercial. Let's see how this goes. Chuga, all right, this is totally immediately not real. An incredibly cool toy, the adorably cute Thomas Train. The incredible detailing will impress even the most retarded child. <laughs> cool. Chuka shop. What is with this? What is with this? What's with the physics on the clothes? By the way, the box says that the toy has a secret. But what kind of secret the manufacturer did not say? Ah! What the f*** is this? Ah! Ah! That's a large nutsack. Thomas for $6.56 and make your child happy today. Okay, I have no fucking clue what to even cover there. At all. What is this? Like, <laughs> first of all... First of all... Free. Obviously. CGI passing as live action, absolutely 100%. Yes, if you have CGI passing as live action, put that down. If you have AI voices, AI voices, put that down too. AI voice, not TTS, no. TTS is different. TTS means they literally put it in a, like a, like a robot voice, like fucking Microsoft Sam. And it came out as like a robot voice. This is like trying to pass as as if it were real people talking. It's very much AI. So AI voices, put it down. Transformation horror. Yes. Okay. Yes. I will agree to that. Transformation horror for Thomas the Tank Engine turning into a monster. Wouldn't creatures apply? Yeah. Creature. Put it down. Next. Let's continue. There's this one called Golbo Care Guide. I'm curious about this one actually. Hold on. Text over VHS. Yeah, text over filter. We got it. White text on black background. Put that down. Welcome to standard care procedures for extra planar entities. Oh, the Sklungless is sad. You know what this entity is? The Sklungless. It is called a Golbo. Oh, it's a Golbo. Golbo! Golbo measures 78.74. It's so sad looking. 66.04 tall at the shoulder. Oh my god. It possesses growth similar to legs on the underside of its body, along with a tail. It has one eye. Got a cosmic being? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, this, this definitely counts as a cosmic being. It's not a god, but it comes from a different reality. So this is a cosmic being by definition. Let's go ahead and put that down. Smiling French shrimp combined with glep. Yeah, this is a fusion dance, a failed fusion dance. Guys, 
Sorry, Golbo. No, Golbo! Golbo possesses no bones. No bones? Golbo requires a bathtub to exist properly. Oh, okay. Golbo also requires a sufficient amount of biodiversity in the bathtub with it. Do not wash the Golbo. Do not wash it, guys. Do not lift Golbo up for long periods with your hands. Oh, no. And so it will bend uncomfortably. Instead, That's how Choco is. Food grade tray. No, don't do that! Golbo is also this is the worst the attempt at, vi at uh, analog Golbo horror. Uh, yeah. To a temperature ideal. I don't think it's trying to be analog horror. It's definitely like just trying to be a cute little there are no escape procedures horror thing. Golbo. Please report to your designated senior researcher after you have watched all other required material. That is not horror at all, but it is really good. Regardless, so it's it's I, I like that a lot actually. Thank you for whoever showed that. Alrighty, let's continue. Um, we got one called Maple Nine Kroshka. Kroshka? I I swear we've seen this before. It looks familiar. Super familiar, actually. Maybe it no the intro is familiar. This is a new one, isn't it? Hold up. Yeah, this is a new one. It's only weeks to Christmas and the malls are in a frenzy. But by far the most popular items are children's toys. The toy is called Kroshka, a talking doll that's taken the world by storm with the animated series of the same name. Whoa, this looks sick as fuck. Holy shit. The toy is the creation of Dimitri. Whoa, Senko, the there's like a of lot of effort put into this. News station? Oh yeah, you're. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Was that a news station? Is it a news story or is it a documentary? I mean, like they could be interchangeable, I suppose. But there's no news logo, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The founder. Dead kids. <laughs> no, that doesn't count. Does that count as dead kids? That doesn't count as dead kids, does it? She's dead, but does that count as dead kids? Majority of you say yes. All right, fine. Dead kids. Uh, I I think I also said Big Corp because uh, it's a toy company, so Big Corp. Also, dead kids. There you go. Dead kids! Yeah, let's go, dead kids! Right. Where did the hype for dead kids even start? Uh, because dead children in analog horror is like the most common trope. Usually it's used kind of distastefully and just like a shock value. To actually innovate on the formula, we need to add dead elderly to more. <laughs> no, we should! We actually should. That's not even a bad idea. That's a trope that has been yet untapped. I would die for Kroshka. What does Kroshka mean? Oh my god, that's a body. No, that's definitely a dead kid, yeah. Yeah, we would have gotten there eventually. We would have gotten there eventually, yeah. Kroshka nuts. Kroshka means nut- uh, cr damn it. Kroshka means crusty? For many. Kroshka means little one, and that's what she is. Oh, she's a little one. Oh, Ohana. Ohana means family. Oh, dear. What will happen to me, Crocodilo? By the way, this animation, I do not want to underestimate. It's, or under... What? I don't want to, like, gloss over this. The animation is fucking awesome. It's really, really well done. It's so good. It's cute. It's very adorable. This is amazing. This is really, really well done. Yeah, Maple 9 fucking rocks. They, they've they done some amazing stuff. I don't know if they got covered by anyone. Definitely look it up. There's not enough interest for this stuff. Yeah, no, we... we I, I gotta talk about Maple 9. G Jesus, I genuinely... Man, why the fuck did I think this was the Arsler? Arsler Randy? <laughs> Sorry, I genuinely come on. You can't you can't be serious. Does it not look like it would say that? <laughs> come on, you gotta be you gotta be on my side. I don't just see slurs everywhere. It just it just looks like it Says that all right. All right. All right. Let's continue uh, the Haddonfield files. Okay uh, I think we have already by default because of the title we got a space there. It should be the tape slash incident slash files, I think. Put that over here. The annual Haddonfield corn maze gathered over 100 children.
families came from all over the country and spooky fun was. This is an emergency message from Haddonfield. Incorrect use of VHS. Go ahead, put that down. AI voice and uh, text to speech. Did, did we not put AI voice? Let's put text to speech too. Field Sheriff Department. Text to speech. Let's go. Interruption? Yes. Okay, so three things. We got broadcast interruptions, finally. Incorrect use of VHS. Bingo? All right, put it down on the Discord channel. But while we're while we're waiting for the results, we also have a text to voice. So go ahead and put that down too, everyone. It seems like this might be this might be legitimate. Let's check it out. So we've got broadcast interruption, training video, free, dead kids, white text on black background. All right, well, that's a bingo. Congrats. Who is that card six from the old cards from the old world? Let's do more bingo. Yay, bingo, yeah, bingo, bingo, bingo. Where's everyone going? Bing, bing. Uh, this one's called Obscure Regular Show Signal Hack. I can tell it's probably a parody. Because this seems not good. Last night on 10 17 2010, something weird happened to the Cartoon Network channel. Uh oh. I was watching a new series called Regular Show. Cool show, by the way. You guys should check it out. But a few minutes into the episode, something weird happened. I think someone might have hacked the network. It's hard to describe, so I'll play the recorded footage. God's be to my parents for letting me keep the old VCR and. Okay, so. Okay, cool. Wow, so they had to, like, quickly explain the lore as to why they can upload VCR. Why even have the fucking... Why even... Why? Alright, enough dragging. Here's the footage. Let's go! Oh, no, Frostpunk, yeah. That's the episode where they said piss off. Oh, my God. That's really weird. Blood smears. No! Mordecai! Rigby! Or whatever. I don't remember who's who. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Creepy eyes? Are we doing creepy eyes? Let's do creepy eyes. Come on. Hidden text? Hidden text? Yes. That's also one. Unexplained glitches? Yes. Also that. Do we get TV static kick? No, uh, screaming then crunch? Um, kind of, actually. I, I would say, I would say yes. Yeah, I would say that, yeah. Screaming then crunch, go for it. All right, broadcast interruption, there you go. Now that counts. Broadcast interruption, if you guys want to put it down, put it down right now, right now, right now, right now. No, that was really cool. I love that a lot. That was uh, dope. <clears throat> Even if it had a lot of the cliches and a lot of the things that we had on the bingo board, you know, that doesn't necessarily equate to a bad analog horror. It can have a lot of the same tropes, but it can still be good. I liked it. I, I liked the way it was presented. I liked the effort that was put into it, and I liked uh, the presentation. It was dope. I liked it a lot. Thank you. Also, they have another one called Unauthorized Interruption of a Danny Phantom Episode, which uh, is made by the same guy, and that was also suggested, so we're gonna watch it. I was close to a bingo. Yeah, that one's, that one's, uh, alright. White text over black background. <laughs> Immediately. White text on black background. I found this at, um... <clears throat> yes. Yes. I had attained a collection of VHS recordings from a friend who, uh, was moving overseas. So yeah, that, that is, I found this at blank. Alright, let's see the footage that they captured. Would Danny Phantom classify a science gone wrong? <laughs> oh, we're not classifying the show. We are not gonna classify the show, no. Oh my god, he's Danny Evil! How helpful are you? Why does that ghost have lipstick? Oh no! Women! <laughs> Maybe I can provide- Whoa, 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 what the fuck episode is this? Whoa! She wants that Fenton DNA? And what does this motherfucker have in his pocket? Cum tissue? Ghostly cum tissue? Look, he's, look, she's sucking the DNA. Man, Danny Phantom was such a good show. Damn, it sucked how it ended. That was awful. The entire third season was horrible. Wait, the whole third season? How many seasons were there? I don't remember the ending. It was, a, it was like a TV special 
like movie kind of thing and it sucked it was just really really bad yeah the third i guess the third season yeah it must have been terrible because i just remember the whole the, the newer episodes that i had watched at the time being not so good all right uh hidden message y'all uh there is a hidden message so go ahead and put it down what did that say run that shit back uh Your eyes are open, but you see nothing. The clock ticks backwards. S I think this just says switch? Channel. Switch channels, yeah. That's what it says. Dead kids? No, no. These are just cartoons, y'all. Here lies our mistakes. We made one more. We never made any- Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Should this count as dead kids? I think, alright. Portrayal of dead kids. Alright, sure. Let's go for it. Dead children! Let's go. We got a lot of dead kids tonight. It's it's well done. I definitely like the regular show one better. But this one's pretty good. Jason is near Friday the 13th Analog Horror. Okay, well, let's continue. A deranged serial killer named Jason Voorhees has been proven still alive and- Oh boy. Emergency broadcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. TTS? Yeah. Text over filter? I don't think it's over the filter. It's just really bad. Turn off MS Paint lights horror. and stay hidden until further notice. Jason will It's definitely leaning towards slideshow horror. However, if he is to attack, fighting will most likely... Gendered be room? Jason Gendered bathroom sign horror? And verbality. Yeah, okay, this is slideshow horror. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't even care if there's, like, a live action later. This is definitely a slideshow horror. I'm, I'm getting sick of it. Alright, put it down if you got it. Avoid alleyways. Beginning to think they don't know who Jason is? I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, they don't even know what VHS is, really. Try to hit his legs. If he falls over, take this opportunity. Doesn't he just hunt the camp bullies? No, he kills everyone. I've not seen the movies. Well, the first one doesn't even have Jason. He's not the killer in the first one. Oh my god, Local 69? What in the fuck? Oh, this is- oh, this is a parody. Text the speech guy be yapping. Yeah, that one was really rough, I'll be real. That one was really rough. Alright. Anybody close? Looks like we still need, uh, Mandela ripoff. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna find that. We can totally get- Ah, oh, if we could just- Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we'll find that, though. Oh! <coughs> I actually really want to check this one out. This is Cecily's Clinic. Let's do this one. Spoiler alert. Yeah, suicide gore, child kidnapping, sexual abuse, Santin. Oh shit, they got Santin in this fucking shit! Oh my god! Wait, oh, whoa! Hold up. This video contain heavy topics and is made for mature audiences. Audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. No, I'm just gonna advise. Suicide gore, child kidnapping, sexual abuse, and Santin. I have a fucking funny feeling that the person who made this is under 18 and shouldn't probably be making stories of suicide gore, child kidnapping, sexual abuse, and Santin. Now, that's not to say I wasn't a child at, at one point making horrible, gory stories based on, like, Movies that I've watched that also include suicide gore, child kidnapping, sexual abuse, and Santin. But, uh, probably shouldn't be publishing your work, I don't know. Looks very, uh, similar to Lacey's game stuff. I mean, uh, ever since Lacey came out, there's been, like, an influx of this kind of, uh, stuff. Also, someone said, um, cute horror? Yeah, cute horror totally counts. If you got cute horror, put it down, please. And bad grammar. What's up, I'm Jared. Uh, I've been feeling unwell. Hi, I'm Jared. I'm 19. I never, never learned how to fucking read. Hey, thanks, Doc. I feel much better now. I feel way better. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I don't feel really good about my right eye. I've been having nightmares about the incident. Yeah, the incident involving the scientist. 